Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Bit Workshop. I've just fitted a brand new top on my MFT3, made with the path guide system, of course. It's about time the old one was pretty ropey, but I've delayed it until today because today is a special day. Today, we're announcing a brand new path product. It's absolutely unique, never been done before. Nobody else has anything quite like it. Brand new product's been in development for just about a year now. This is the UJK Path Superdog. Now you might think, well, what on earth is that? Right, let's just identify the parts very quickly. We start with the locking knob, which is at the top here. It's got a shaft associated with it. There's the locking knob. There's the main body, which is here. And then you have a choice of three types of ring which can be inserted. And I'll just assemble this one very quickly. First job put the knob into the main body and then you have a choice of one of uh, three things to put on here. I'm going to put on the plain cap spacer there and that's going to be followed by one of these o-rings followed by another o-ring followed by the end nut. Now I'm not going to tighten it up at this stage, I'm just going to bring it up so it, I can just feel it's meeting resistance. And there we have the PATH Superdog in its absolutely plain uh, livery. And if I put this now in this hole here, you'll understand what we're doing. It goes in like so. And you think, well, that's not very good, it's going to fall through and hit the floor. No, it's not. When I tighten up that knob, that is now absolutely rock solid and look completely plain shaft nothing to get in the way you can put your guide rail against any part of this you can use this for jig work in so many different ways but let's just take this out now the tolerances are really tight as they are with all of these path products that are made by axminster that's because we want to get the absolute most accurate fit possible uh, with the components when they're in use so in order to build the next configuration, the two standard components are fitted together. That's the uh, locking knob and the main body. And I'm then going to take this chamfer ring. If you look closely, there's a chamfer on one side, and it's on this, this, this side there, and the other side is plain. That chamfer is going to uh, be used to help locate this very very accurately in your bench top and I'll show you how to do that very shortly. That chamfer is on the lower side there. Next I'm going to put on uh, this part here uh, and that's trapping the o-ring in place and then I'm putting the base nut with its o-ring on as well and I'm going to bring this up together and again just like before I'm not tightening it all the way. I'm just bringing it up to it just touches. Now, you might think, well, how am I going to use this in a bench top? Because if I put this in the bench top here, that chamfer is going to sit on that edge. Well, that's where this optional tool comes in. And it's optional because some people would prefer to make their chamfer using their router. Now, this again, like all of the Path products from Axminster is a really nice fit and all you do is you insert the chamfer tool in your bench through the hole and that's then and then turn it a couple of times that's made that chamfer and now when I insert this in that hole with the chamfer that's going to fit snugly down and the chamfer is going to locate it accurately so now this is at absolute right angles to the surface of the bench push down hard and then tighten up and that is now locked absolutely rock solid and this again is perfect if you're doing jig work or if you're using your track saw with the guide rail. and to remove it loosen off the locking knob and then lift now it's a tight fit remember that so uh, you have to get used to the idea all these things are a tight fit now let me just show you the uh, chamfer tool once more it goes into the hole and it is a really snug fit and then all you do is you you give it two or three turns and you can see the small shaving that's come out and then lift it up brush away the swarf and it's ready to accept 
the PATH Superdog. And for the third configuration, I'm now going to take the 25mm mid bush and note the way that it's going to go on. There it is, it's got a sort of flange there, that's going to go through like so. And then I'm going to connect it up to the rest of the system. And just as before, I'm tightening it up, so it's just to the point where I meet resistance. And then that can go in any of the holes, you don't need to have a chamfer ahead of the game. And then you tighten up, and that now is absolutely rock solid. So there's no need to go under the bench with the... Path Superdog. You can do everything from above the bench. However, you can use this below the bench, like so. So there it is. I've inserted it from below the bench, and now I have a 20 millimeter protrusion, which is perfectly located. It's held rock solid because I tightened it up with the locking knob from underneath. So lo and behold, you've now got a 20 millimeter short dog sticking out from your bench. And in case you're curious, yes, uh, this does work with the Festival MFT3. All of the components work just as well and it works like a dream. So there you have the UJK Path Superdog and the optional chamfer cutter. And this is a tool that I see being used in all sorts of jig work and also with your track saw on a custom cutting station made with a path guide system. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.